Garrett Johnson here with Ricky Fowler. And Ricky, I think about your career and, and the highs and lows. And obviously, winning in Detroit was a big one for you. Uh, how do you look back on that now? Uh, obviously, that was uh, you know a big highlight of last year. Uh, going into last season, it, it, you know, struggled for a few years, and um, you know, kind of more just seeing progress and the consistency and being able to build on stuff. So. Um, Last year, obviously a lot of good play, um, was able to kind of build momentum and, and knew I was playing well enough to win. It was just kind of, um, you know, had to stay patient and played well all week at, you know, Rocket Mortgage and, um, you know, probably had a couple opportunities on the back nine where I, I lost a little control of the tournament where I, I had a chance to win outright. Um, but yeah, found a way to get it done and that was uh, just a big relief and um you know kind of a good one to put behind us for sure well you talk about staying patient the importance of staying patient in golf when you think of um how you do that under the gun and also just you know fans at home golf golfers at home weekend golfers how what's a good way to stay patient when we know there's pressure we want to beat our peers i mean thinking about kind of game plan or, or what you'd normally you know do on whether it's a certain hole or a certain shot you know not trying to do you know hit a shot that you're either uncomfortable with or you know playing your home golf course something that you don't normally do there's certain situations where you know coming down the last couple holes and, and you have to make something happen it's it's a, a risk that you're willing to take um, but as far as us when it's you know Thursday Friday Saturday um, you know kind of sticking to the game plan just executing and um, I think sometimes you you hit a bad shot and you think you have to do something to get like out of trouble and have to hit a, a great shot where you know whether it's pitching out or just kind of take your medicine and it's easy to do that man yeah yeah no it's um it's tough sometimes you have to just take a deep breath and uh, make sure you kind of go through the thought process and put yourself in that situation don't worry about you know what's been happening or what you know oh i need to do this the next couple of holes it's how do i take care of this shot in front of me I hear being present, the importance of being present, what's in front of you. And think about putting. And, and, and as you look on short putts for, for us at home and for you as well, when you need to make these putts and, and crucial parts around, what, what tip, typically is a good thing to focus on there? Uh, well, I mean, once you've, you know, you've read the putt, you know what you're trying to do, whether you line the ball up or not, you know where you're trying to play it. Um, a lot of things that I really just tell myself is, you know, hit a good putt, hit it out of the center of the putter. Um, you know, I think that's a big part of, of the commitment side of it. You know, commit to whatever line you pick or whatever it may be. Um, you're going to make a lot more than you're going to miss. Where you start to, you're going to miss some, even if you have the right read, you start to kind of doubt yourself or, you know, am I lined up right? Um, you're going to miss hit putts and stuff like that. I've been in a lot of situations where it's just like, let's just hit a good putt. Let's start it online, hit it out of the middle of the putter. Um, you know, winning here at Charlotte back in 2012 or thinking about putts I've had at Ryder Cup I was or President's Cup, um, ones that you need to make. Kind of last thought for me, because I've, I've already done all my homework. I know, I think I know the read. I'm going to trust that. I know where I'm trying to start it. And it's like, all right, let's just hit a good putt, start it on that line. Well, speaking of starting things online um, with the full swing, as you stand on a driver, and, and for us at home, as, as we look at a driver, like what, it, it, you know, shoulder turn, like how, how much do you want to really focus on kind of upper body and making sure that's in the right place? Uh, well, I think some of it depends on what swing stuff you may be working on or, or, or certain things that may be flaws that you're trying to avoid. Um, I mean, one... It, the commitment side of it is the, is the big thing on, on every shot, but um, picking small targets um, and some of it is, is it's a lot of it ends up being a lot more mental. I mean, you can stand on the range and hit a lot of good drives and you get on a golf course and there's water left and there's bunkers and you start to, well, I don't want to hit it over there. I think a big thing on the mental side is, is standing behind and, and understanding, okay, I got water there. I've got bunkers there. I'm going to hit it, you know, right at this tree so you get over it and then you're just going with that versus sitting there like starting to look at all the other things um so that commitment side of things being precise with what you're trying to do um 
go further into it, but accepting, okay, I know there's trouble, but I'm not going to hit it there. I'm going to hit it right here. Well, when you say accepting, I think of owning, owning your decision, owning what, what, what you're setting out for. And so uh, with the game plan, a, a, as, you, as you look at a round and you want to have a good game plan to make a move, um, you know, what's typically, you know, if you're later for you, later on a weekend, how do you assess a game plan, especially when it's a tougher tournament like a major championship? Uh, sometimes it's, it feels like you're trying to go a little bit slower throughout the process of whether it's walking um, you know, you get a little anxious or the nerves get going, you get adrenaline going, you may start to swing a little harder, get a little out of rhythm. So sometimes it's trying to just slow things down a little bit, um, hitting controlled shots, not trying to, you know, hit the driver too hard, kind of swinging within yourself. And I think that's something that, that definitely helps get back to what would be the normal timing or rhythm of what you know, Tuesday through Friday um, versus when you, you get in contention and, and start to maybe move a little bit quicker. Was there anything with rhythm uh, in terms of a, a learning moment for you in the U.S. Open final round? Any takeaway in that regard, or, or were there other takeaways when you look back on that final round? Um, I mean, there I, I really just I hit irons poorly um, and didn't make any putts, um, and that was something I, I did well throughout the week. Uh, I feel like I drove it well enough throughout the whole week, um, irons and, and putter were were great until Sunday and um, I just I didn't have it so I was kind of fighting fighting the iron swing um, throughout the day and, and just wasn't executing so um, sometimes you have to just accept that and and go back and um, you know I haven't I wouldn't say I haven't fully gone back and say like looked at video to say see what may have been on or off um, but yeah, some days you, you just don't have it, and Wyndham went out and played some some solid golf all week, and especially Sunday, and he got the job done. Yeah, I remember you told me about 2014 final round of the Open Championship. You said that sometimes things can get a little quick on a Sunday, and that's just that's just the nature of the adrenaline of, of a final final day. I, I want to ask you briefly though about your daughter. We got to transition into one of the great passions you have. Um, as a father, what is the what are the most rewarding things that you get to do with her, uh, with your time? Uh, I mean. <clears throat> really anything <clears throat> she um she's always on the go she likes to be outside or, or always on the move so um i think some of the most fun for me is is you know see how excited she is you know when i get home from the golf course or you know just pushing her on the swing at home or or riding the bike around um she likes going into the simulator and hitting golf balls um maybe not for a long period of time but those little spots of you know five ten minutes one thing on to the next um no it's just it's just fun to you know watch her continue to get better at whatever she's doing because i mean as the little kids you know going from crawling to walking to running and picking up you know swinging a golf club to see where she was you know barely touching a golf ball to now she can kind of make a, a halfway decent swing and that's going to continue to to progress um it's just cool to see how fast they they learn and pick up and how has fatherhood changed you? How has she changed you as a person? I know Jordan Spieth said a lot of effect for Sammy in his life. Yeah, I, I mean, it's, you know, obviously it's a, it's a different kind of love. I have, you know, my wife and we've created now our family and, and have another one on the way. Um, it's just a, it's a different feeling that, that people don't understand until they have kids as well um, or have them. Um, it's things those are kind of the priorities and everything else is you know falls well below that um you know between you know family and you know especially immediate family um you know, look at golf it's obviously something that i love and it's it's fun to be able to do it as a job and, and travel around but um yeah allison and meyer those those are the the ones at the top of the list club head speed getting up there at this moment hers yeah uh not quite. <clears throat> We're uh, for her age, though. I mean, come yeah, on, she's, contextual. She's doing all right. Um, I think for the most part, just trying to keep it to where she's having fun with it. I'm not. I'm not trying to get into too much instruction or anything with her. She's she's two and a half. Um, we'll see if she continues to have some fun with it. Um, we'll see in the next couple of years if if it's something she wants to try and get better at. Then we'll do it. Always appreciate your time and good luck with the family and uh, the season going forward. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Thanks again, man. Yep. Yeah.